Greetings everyone. I am Dr. Surya Pratap Jahan from Department of Radio Diagnosis, KS Agde Medical Academy, presenting a study on MDCT evaluation in complications of severe acute pancreatitis. Severe acute pancreatitis can lead to grave and potentially lethal complications which are responsible for 2 to 10 percent mortality in this disease. It is defined as acute pancreatitis with a modified CT severity score CTSI of 8 to 10. It is noted in many studies that most life-threatening complications develop almost exclusively in severe acute necrotizing pancreatitis. Various complications are seen in severe acute pancreatitis which have a time-based temporal classification into early, intermediate and late. Early, class, early complications seen in 2 to 3 days, intermediate 2 to 5 weeks and late complications seen in months to years of the acute episode. Early complications are associated with multi-organ failure and responsible for 20 to 50% of mortality. These include cardiovascular complications such as ECG changes, pulmonary, renal, and metabolic complications such as changes in uh, calcium and LDH levels. These are mostly biochemical markers. Intermediate complications. These occur due to abdominal complications after metabolic manifestations resolve. Usually include retroperitoneal infections, infected necrosis, pseudocysts, gastrointestinal and biliary complications and solid organ involvement. Late complications overlap between multiple episodes of acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis and are usually insidious. These include vascular and hemorrhagic complications and pancreatic ascites. The aim of this study is to evaluate clinical complications associated with severe acute pancreatitis using multi-director CT. The place of study is Department of Radio Diagnosis at Justice KS Hagdi Charitable Hospital, Mangalore. 20 cases were selected over a short period of 6 months. Patients with an episode of severe acute pancreatitis corresponding to a modified CT score of 8 to 10 was included in the study. Triple phase CECT examination of patients with clinically suspected proven clinically suspected or proven severe acute pancreatitis were performed with GE 128 slice CT scanner and the complications were evaluated. Coming to the results. This study showed a male predominance with 18 patients as male and 2 patients as female. The age distribution was equal in 20 to 30 years of age and 20 to 50 years of age with each showing 30% of patients and 30 to 40 years of age showing 25% of patients. Acute necrotic collection was the most common complication seen in 16 patients. Infected pancreatic necrosis with air foci was seen in 2 patients. Wall of necrosis a rare complication seen in 3 patients. Gastrointestinal and biliary complication was seen in 6 patients. Solid organ involvement in 4 patients. Pleural effusion in 11 patients. Vascular complications like splenic or portal vein thrombosis in 6 patients. Ascites seen in 9 patients. Most common complication was acute necrotic collection. Cases. This is a case of iatrogenic MPD disruption leading to severe acute pancreatitis. A collection is seen at pancreatic head with extension into the lesser sac, right subhepatic space, anterior and posterior perianal space, right paracolic gutter and into extra peritoneal pelvic space, the largest locule measures 15 to 15 cm in the right with heterogeneous hyperdense contents. The loculatory collection is also seen in pancreatic tail region. This patient expired due to cardiopulmonary complications. Multilocated heterogeneous collection with multiple septations noted in the head region. Another heterogeneous collection with air foci noted in the tail region, replacing the pancama, communicating with other adjacent collections in the anterior peripancreatic region. These are the features of severe acute pancreatitis with walled off peripancreatic collection containing multiple air foci. This is an infected collection. Shows an ill defined collection in the body and tail region of pancreas, replacing the pancreatic parenchyma. These are features of acute and chronic pancreatitis with acute necrotic collection here. Small subcapsular splenic collection is also noted along with splenic vein thrombosis. Calculated heterogeneous collection is noted in the head region with multiple septations here. This is an acute necrotic collection thrombosis of the main portal vein and a large hepatic subcapsular collection is seen along the left lobe. Coming to the discussion, 
the study included 20 patients with complications following an episode of acute pancreatitis. The patients underwent CCT, abdomen, pelvis and various complications were evaluated. The maximum number of patients were in the age group of 20 to 30 years and 40 to 50 years. Each amount to 6 cases that is 30% followed by 30 to 40 years with 5 cases that is 25%. The youngest patient was aged 10 years while the oldest at 67 years with a mean age of 36.7 years. 90% of the patients that is 18% were male and 10% were female. The study estimated that the most common complication followed by an episode of acute pancreatitis is acute necrotic collection which was seen in 80% of the patients, 16 patients, followed by pleural effusion which was seen in 55% of the patients. Most commonly the acute necrotic collection was extrapancreatic, however two cases showed intrapancreatic necrotic collections also. Few patients presenting more than four weeks after such episode showed a rare complication of well-defined wall of necrotic collections in 15% of the cases that is three patients stating its specificity. Vascular complication like portal or splenic vein thrombosis was seen in 30% of the patients that is six patients. However, no pseudoaneurysms were reported. Extrapancreatic complications like gastrointestinal, biliary and other solid organ involvement was seen in 50% of the patients. These involved cases of duodenal and colonic edema, jaundice, hepatosplenomegaly, splenic or hepatic subcapsular collections and perineal collections. Pleural effusion was reported in 55% of the cases with massive pleural effusion noted in 15% of patients that is 3 patients. There was a single mortality which was the first case in this study which is also identical to the statistics in many studies. Concluding the study, this study uh, showed that MDCT is an excellent diagnostic modality for evaluation of complications arising from severe acute pancreatitis with a modified CTSI of 8 to 10. MDCT is the standard of choice for diagnosing and quantifying the progression of complications arising from severe acute pancreatitis. This imaging helps in planning several interventions for the complications such as percutaneous drainage and surgical or endoscopic necrosectomy. These are my references. Thank you.